to this tutorial on how to play Lovely by Brent Fiaz or Sonder. We're in standard tuning, there's no capo. It is all bar chords, so if you're a beginner, beware of that. We're going to start out here, I'm going to teach you the introduction, and then we're going to go over a couple of chord progressions that you can play throughout the rest of the song. So the introduction is what I played in the beginning of this video, and that's what sounds like this. <laughs> So you're going to start out with a G sharp minor, so you're going to bar the 4th fret, all 6 strings, ring finger on the 6th fret of the A string, pinky on the 6th fret of the D string, and we're going to pick our E, D, G, B. So you go right down and up, E, D, G, B, G, D. Next we're going to go to our B chord, so you're going to bar the 5th string down from the 2nd fret with your index finger, and you're also going to bar the 4th fret from the 4th string down with your ring finger. And you're going to pick the A, D, G, B, G, D. Next we're going to go to an A sharp minor, the exact same chord as the G sharp minor, except for you just slide that same exact shape up to frets same picking pattern so e d g b g d and last we have a d sharp chord which if you take your b chord if you just slide that up to the sixth fret with your index on the sixth fret and your ring finger on the eighth you'll have your d sharp chord and we're going to go a d g b G, D, so right up and down, same picking pattern. And that's the introduction. So I'm going to go ahead and play through that once here for you. So we have our G sharp. <clears throat> Next we have our B. A sharp. D sharp. G sharp minor. B major, A sharp minor, D sharp major. And that is the introduction. So as far as the verse and the chorus and the rest of the song, it sounds more like this. There's a couple different variations to that, but as long as you have the, the main chord progression, you can play with the rest of the song. So what I'm doing there is I'm playing an E chord. So you're going to have your index finger on the first fret of the G, middle finger on the second fret of the A string, ring finger tucked under on the second fret of the D, and we're going to pick our E, D, G, B, and then back up in the G and the D strings. After you do that, for the first variation, you're going to go ahead, so you're going to go pick through once, and now you're going to pick E, G, D, B again, and then you're going to go to an F sharp bar chord. So you're going to borrow the second fret with your index finger, all six strings, middle finger on the third fret of the G, ring finger on the fourth fret of the A, pinky right under on the fourth fret of the D go ahead and you pick the E, G, and the B strings. Okay, so that part sounds like this. So that's one thing. You could play that through the rest of the song and it would sound great. Um, you can also switch it up. There's some parts where it goes like this instead. So you're going to start with your E chord. And instead of coming back down on that E chord, you switch right up to your G sharp. And then you go to an F sharp. Okay, so that sounds like this. And you can also play that throughout the entire song, it'll sound great. Alright, and so that's going to be it for this tutorial. 
I went through that pretty quickly, so if you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.